Hello and welcome to low budget gaming and welcome to a quick uh, tutorial type video on Subnautica. In this video I'll show you how to get to LifePod 4, LifePod 6 and how to get inside the Aurora, the entrance to the Aurora, how to get to the captain's quarters, all of that. So let's begin. So this is my base. I'll just quickly go to my one of my mods and I'll show you around. It's actually not that difficult but for me it took me a while to find these things. So hang on, this is the prawn suit and yeah early on it was quite difficult for me especially to find life pot 6 life pot 4 was easy and okay so we'll get into the moth and good thing is daytime okay so what you need to do is now if you want to get into the aurora you will need um okay let's just get out of the water first See, in the Aurora, you need to have a laser cutter and a propulsion cannon. You cannot go without that inside. You'll need those two things, definitely. You don't need a compass for what we are doing. And you should be okay without the sea moth as well. As long as you have a um, sea glide, you should be okay. Uh, four and six are not... Four is actually floating in the water. Six is a bit deeper. And... Uh, yeah basically don't really need uh any special equipments apart from going inside the aurora so first i'll show you how to get inside the aurora and we might actually run into pod 4 on the way now what you need to do is point your sea moth or your glide and you have to target the front of the ship front left of the aurora right about here and so yeah let's go so we may run into port 4 on the way if not i'll show you a more accurate way of pinpointing it without having a compass you if you have a compass it'll be easy to find life port 6 but if you don't you should still be fine so if we run into life port 4 we'll just go past it i'll show you the entrance to the aurora first and then we'll come back and show you how to check the life port 4. calorie intake recommended Okay, sorted. Vital signs stabilizing. See, that's life power four. We we'll leave it for now. We'll come back once we show you. It's, it's easy to find. So, once we go inside the Aurora. I'll show you how to get there then on the way back I'll show you 4 and 6 also I haven't run into any reapers uh, on this path so you should be okay so this is where you get inside so this one here through here you can get inside onto it's vibrating quite badly and you can simply just get off here okay my seaboard just hit me i think and that's it you may need a knife because there are quite a lot of those crabs here but this is how you get inside through here but when you come here these boxes will be blocking the way completely you'll need the propulsion cannon to remove them and then you can go down there's also a door that you need to cut and so you'll need the laser cutter so you need those two things the propulsion cannon to move these boxes and the cutter to get inside so that's it for getting inside the aurora you will uh, you'll have a password to the captain's quarter you have to like swim around the debris and find rooms it's not difficult but take your time you'll also find all four fragments of the prawn suit so keep that in mind so that's how you get to the aurora now let's go and find pod four and six so back out of this entrance now just point your moth to your pod so this is our pod here let me just remove the other things in the way uh, c moth c moth beacon camera okay so just the pod so we are about 1125 meters away from our um, pod so just go in this direction and you should run into life pod 4 it's actually close to the ship, the Aurora. <coughs> you 
so there we are so this is life pod 4 easy enough now if we come here you can go and check and get the PDAs and stuff now we'll show you where to find life pod um, 6 now if we look at the Aurora survivor cores and clues you see life pod 6 life pod 6 it says distress signal has been received uh, crew request has been sunk to 100 meters we have this photo here of it near the red grass and origin approximately 400 meters west northwest of life pod 4's last location so we know life pod 4 we know it's 100 meters deep we know it's in the red forest and it's not west northwest now if you have a compass obviously this will be easy so west northwest just about here okay and just go down 400 meters red forest area so you'll first run into these mushrooms if you see that then you're in the right direction just keep going keep going keep going you'll run into red forest soon red uh, kelp forest basically and don't need to go beyond a hundred meters it's above a hundred meters so stay above stay above stay above we are getting close we are at hundred meters and we see this debris all you need to do is keep that in mind and just look around a bit there in fact we had overpassed it so there is life port 6 so in fact if you come here I actually ended up going there this guy is annoying <clears throat> okay so this is life port 6 not that far exactly 107 meters 110 meters down easy as you like pick up the stuff PDA and stuff whatever you find find out what happened and yeah that's it so hopefully this was useful let me know if you need anything else I've been playing this myself spend a lot of time playing this most of it is initially a little hard but once you get your bearings it's not that difficult so yeah let me know if you need anything else and I'll see what I can do thank you for watching see you in the next one